the first example is two variables that are proportion. Chef Joanna uses 600 grams of flour to make 25 pies. How much flour would she need to make 12 pies? So just put it into a simple table. We're talking about flour and pies. So first is 600 and 25 pies. The next one is we're making 12 pies, but we don't know the number of flour. So just replace that with a letter x y whatever so i prefer to use x now because it's the direct method that means they all have the same direction they move the same direction up and up down and down that's what the proportion is all about the same direction so what you need to understand is that you need to read the question to understand what is direct less spice means you have less flour more pies means you need more flour. So this is how you need to understand the question. Having understood it direct, then you know the arrow method properly. Because if you don't know the direct or inverse, you mix it up. So now we know if you want to make less pie, you need less flour. So it's direct. So when it's direct, always start your work with the x to form your simple equation. So we're going to go up for flour. So that's one side of the equation. So we have x over 600. We're going to go up because it's also direct. I will be equals to also 12 over 25. Then you solve it. Simple as that. Always start with the x. x over 600. So we're going up. Once that ready, the other one must also go up. The other one. Now it's to solve for x. It means you're going to multiply both sides by 600. And you work this out. So you have 12 over 25 times 600, and when you work it out, 600 divided by 25, you times the answer by 12. So you're going to have all multiplying divided by 25, they are all the same. So the answer will be 288 grams of flour. 